so that kids aren't getting bombarded by, by things that, uh, that corrupt the mind. You do a better job than we've probably done in a lot of dimensions, but one thing we also do is teach our kids that before they have babies, they get married, and the marriage is between a man and a woman. Well, I want you to know I'm optimistic about our future. I listen from time to time to John Edwards, and, and uh, he keeps on talking about there being two Americas. Well, I disagree. I'm convinced that there's one America. Oh, we have our differences. We're male and female, tall and short, rich and poor, Republican, Democrat. There are a lot of differences. But we come together at times when our strength is needed most. And this is one of those times. I was uh, reminded of that time and again at the Olympics in my business life, just going across Iowa this year. I see great people who come together and love our country. And uh, I was also reminded of that when I was governor. I was in my office and I, I got a call from one of my assistants, I think it was Beth Myers, my chief of staff, could have been someone else, and, and said, we have a soldier who's coming home today, and uh, his family lives quite a ways away, and uh, I want to know if you can go to the airport to, to meet him. I thought, well, sure, I'll go to the airport. And then she said, he's not coming home in the pass passenger compartment. And uh, he was coming home in a casket. And so I went to the airport, drove out of the tarmac there, and the National Guard was there with me, the Adjutant General and a couple of others, and, and uh, passengers came in with that big U.S. Air jet. They parked up in front of this great big terminal with a big glass wall looking out over the aircraft, and people went up into the terminal, and then they, they got the luggage out. That conveyor belt came out, they took the luggage and loaded it on the baggage carts, and then they 